Hi, I'm Brandy. I'm Andrea. America. And this is our lamprey dissection. Um, this is our lamprey. It is representative of the phylum Chordata, which within the Chordata, it is representative of the subphylum vertebra, which basically means that it has a vertebra, which is the backbone basically yeah, yeah. over here, so it has some bones. Um, within the subphylum vertebra, um, since this is a lamprey, it is part of the Petromyzontida group or subclass, which is characterized basically by. It's sartorial mouth, um, and it has rasping teeth inside of it, and it has a nasal sac that is it connected to the buccal cavity, which is basically the mouth. Um, and it has seven pairs of pharyngeal slits, which is basically right here, just little gill slits. And that's our lamp ray. We love our lamp ray. We named him Billy Bob. He's a boy. If you look at the ventral side, there is no opening down here like in the female. Here we have our head region, our body region, and our tail region. In our tail region, we have our dorsal fins right here and right here, and we have our caudal fin. In the head region, its thing is the slits. There's seven of them right here that are used for breathing and for feeding. When the water comes in through the mouth, it'll come out through the gills. That's an eye. Here we have its mouth. These are all of its little teeth that are used for eating when it sucks in the water and any little particles or anything that's in the water. And that's when it all comes out of the gills after it eats. When it's not eating, its gills are also used for breathing like other fish. So its skin is very smooth. There are no scales or anything. Um, it helps it swim faster in the water, and it moves kind of like a snake through the water. Now we move into the mouth. When the lamprey eats, it'll attach to its prey like a fish, with these little horny teeth all along the opening of the mouth. Once attached, it uses this tongue back here that have more teeth on it. It's really rough like a cat's tongue. And they will use that to scrape away the first layer of the prey's skin. And then it will attach itself um, and it will suck on its prey like a leech um, to eat. The lamprey in its saliva also has a anticoagulant in it to keep the wound open until the lamprey is done feeding. And it has many rows of teeth. We have some up here. We have the anterior field of teeth. We have the lateral field of teeth. And then we have the posterior field of teeth that it uses to eat its prey. Okay, so in the lamprey digestive system, it's gonna start obviously in the mouth where they begin to feed on whatever prey they choose. And the blood or whatever tissues make it through are gonna start right here in the pharynx, which actually in the lamprey divides into two different sections. One right here is the esophagus, and then the other is gonna be a respiratory tube for the breathing. The structure, how the pharynx divides into two different structures is actually um, specific to a lamprey and once the food gets through the esophagus it goes straight into the intestine which on this section of the lamprey is harder to see but down here you can see it right here this little structure that I'm moving that's going to be the intestine and it's going to come all the way out here to the end and this is going to be the anus and that's where all of obviously the waste is going to come out at and then also once we get back up here this little green section that's going to be the liver and kind of posterior to the heart is going to be the gallbladder. The liver um, serves its functions as it metabolizes carbohydrates and fats, which you know obviously serves for quick energy production. Um, the gallbladder, it stores and concentrates bile, and the liver secretes the bile and delivers it to the intestines through the bile duct. Mm -hmm. And then once all of that is finished, obviously it goes through the intestine and comes right back out the anus as usual digestion would do.
kidney. This is the kidney of the lamprey. This little piece right here that I'm lifting up, this whole little piece right here. The kidney functions in blood filtering as well as ridding nitrogenous waste and water. And it, it also plays a role in osmoregulation. Um, right here, this pink stuff, you can see those are the different blood vessels throughout the kidney that once the blood is filtered, travel back up here into the heart. And then underneath the kidney, this little flap right here, that is actually the testes, which it runs the length all the way up here. Um, once the lampreys are ready to spawn, um, the female will lay her eggs in a little nest per se, and they they actually are produced by external fertilization. So once the female lamprey lays her eggs, the male lampreys compete to be able to fertilize those eggs. So they swim around, and once they find a nest, um, the testes release releases its sperm, which come out right here at the colloquia, right here. And then um, the sperm just goes onto the eggs, sort of like sprinkling seasoning on something. And then um, the eggs fertilize. And then once um, males fertilize the eggs, they actually just go off to die, which is a terrible life cycle. All right, so next we're going to be doing the nervous system. Um, this, the lamprey itself doesn't have that much um, nervous and sensory sensory organs so to start off we have the brain which usually is in this pocket um, in this you can actually see the brain still in here um, we have kind of cut it apart a little bit but after the brain it goes straight into the spinal cord which tra travels all the way down here right on top of the notochord um, the only other organ that it has is a penile gland up here. Um, the penile gland usually is just for excreting, um, excreting some some extra chemicals to help with the brain. Um, other than the eye and the gills, the eye and the gills are the only other other, other sensories. Other than that, this the lamprey itself does not have much sensory organs. All right, so next we're doing the circulatory system. Circulatory meaning the blood flow and the heart. Um, just like any creature, usually this chamber right here has a heart. Um, we've removed it for later view. Um, it has one singular vein that, goes, that runs right down here. You can't really see it. Um, that goes up to the head and another one comes straight out from up here and goes all the way down. Um, all of this pink is actually um, different amounts of blood that, that we've colored to show that it actually spreads across the whole body. Um, if you see here, the gills have the same pigment, basically meaning that the blood has been oxygenated and is slowly flowing through the heart and out towards the, the rest of the body. So right here is the actual heart, um, extremely tiny on, on the lamprey. Um, we have a model that we can show later that will show this in a much larger view. Okay, so we saw before that the heart of the lamprey is actually extremely tiny, so now we have a model of it. Um, the model is actually, the heart is actually just as similar to any other fish. Um, right here we can see the atrium, um, right before that is the um, sinus venous which actually pulls in the blood and uh, the blood already in. It moves down into here which is the uh, ventricle. Right here is where the blood will get oxygenated after moving through this small flap here. We go into the conus atrius, which then spreads out the rest of the blood um, to the rest of the body. It's the conus atrius spreads all out into here, and all these secondary veins spread out over the body. All right, so now we're back with the brain model. Um, the brain model is basically <laughs> cut up into two parts: um, the hide brain 
and the forebrain. Um, here we see sent all these little things on the medulla oblongata. These are sensory nerves that go on to the spinal cord to help um, keep the sense, senses around in the body. Um, up here in the blue is the optic lobe that helps with the eye sockets that it has. Um, connected right onto it is the pineal gland. Pineal gland um, being a gland that helps um, determine to perceive light from dark so that um, the creature can see whenever it wants to. Um, above that is the cerebrum. It's about all this pink part right here would be the cerebellum.